Beyonce stands to make Uber bucks with a savvy investment. Uber introduces quiet mode. And Uber still claims that you are not an employee. All coming up on This Week with Rideshare News. In 2015, Beyonce was hired to perform at an Uber event in Las Vegas. She was supposed to be paid $6 million, but instead decided to ask for $6 million in equity. The IPO launched last week. Her $6 million investment is now worth up to $300 million. She is among several celebrities that invested prior to the IPO launch, which includes Ashton Kusher, Jay-Z, Olivia Munn, and Leonardo DiCaprio. So while many people who invested in Uber before the IPO launch are happy, many drivers are laughing because the shares aren't doing so well. This article talks about how on several message boards, forums, and other areas on social media, drivers are starting to feel like their complaints are being heard. With the recent strike and folks being vocal about their treatment, many drivers feel that the general public are starting to understand the complaints of the drivers. Many believe, though no one knows for sure, that this is the reason why Uber and Lyft's shares have dropped dramatically. This week, Uber Black passengers can request a bunch of new features that include quiet mode and luggage assistance. After a horrible Uber ride in 2018, Martha Stewart took to Instagram to talk about her experience. And so Uber partnered with her with what they thought would be a great way for Uber Black passengers to have a luxurious experience. So in this case, that means if passengers don't want to talk, they can use quiet mode to go on social media, to check emails, to sleep, what have you. If they're up for a chat, they can also choose another mode to let them know that they are willing to be friendly with you. There's also that nifty mode that alerts the driver that you might need help with your luggage. I don't drive for Uber Black and I never use the service, so it really doesn't affect me personally, but I was curious about what your thoughts were especially because so many people complain about chatty Uber drivers or Uber drivers that don't talk enough. Do you guys see this being a feature that might be introduced with UberX soon? And if so, what are your thoughts on it? National Labor Relations Board ruled just recently that Uber driver partners are not employees, they are contractors. And based off of this criteria, they use their own equipment, they set their own schedules, you're free to work for competitors, are responsible for your own profit and loss. This also means that gig economy employers do not have to pay overtime, do not have to pay benefits, and do not have to worry about drivers, in this case, forming unions. We have heard this conversation over and over again, so it's not new. The only way that this can be changed is by a judge's jurisdiction. Pretty sure we'll be seeing more and more court cases on this issue. Our last story is not really a story, but more of a conversation. I seen two drivers this past week talk about tipping and how there are limits on tipping. And I wanted to read this to you to give you some sort of context. So I discovered today that there's a limit to how much a customer can tip. I had a good seven minute convo with the guy I picked up and when I was dropping him off, he asked how much I wanted for a tip. I jokingly said $1 million and he showed me his screen and said that the max he could tip was about $15.42. The amount I made off the ride before the tip was only $2.76. This is complete BS and that they limit tips. Uber's tipping limit is 200% of the total upwards to $100. Limits on tips were actually implemented about a year ago. And the reason being that Uber said that they wanted to prevent fat fingers, which simply describes accidental tipping, you pressing too many buttons and you tipping someone more than you wanted to basically. And the issue that I have on this is that I feel like there's no limit to someone's generosity. And knowing how little some trips pay, I feel like people want to make up for it if they have a good experience by tipping. And I don't believe that they should be limited. I think another way to prevent that is by having them confirm the amount that they want to tip. Um, I wanted to know what your guys' thoughts are and if you guys ever had an issue where a passenger wanted to tip you and wasn't able to give you what they thought you deserved. And for our final segment, now what would you do in this case? I was reading the forums and I saw that a woman had picked up a guy and his girl 
they were going, headed out to eat and decided to stop off at a friend's house. She uh, said that the guy was like, well, only be a few minutes. We're possibly going to bring this friend and then we're going to all go to the restaurant. Well, they pull up to the friend's house and she said as soon as the couple went into the house. So apparently this couple went there to confront the guy. She said that she could hear the yelling and knocking around in the house and wasn't sure what to do next. Had a really hard time in deciding whether she should stay or go because regardless of what happened in that house, she said she didn't want to deal with those people, especially the way they were acting in that guy's house. It turns out the couple comes out after 10 minutes, gets in the car and says they want to go home. So the driver makes only $5 for waiting for 15 minutes and possibly an additional two to three minutes taking them back to their original destination. What are your guys' thoughts on this issue? If you were in this case, what would you do? Please let me know in the comments. And that wraps up this week in Rideshare News. My name is Cecily. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. The Rideshare Guide channel offers a bunch of information. If you're curious about who I am, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can contact me on my YouTube or my Facebook. Would love to hear from you. If you got any news or tips or anything like that, let me know. I would love to put it up. And as always, have a blessed week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.